New Englanders looking for a beachfront escape should consider this before heading south to the Cape. Swampscott and, and really the North Shore is really a hidden gem of the greater Boston area. There's a nice beautiful sandy beach and then you can access the same tuna grounds that you see on Wicatuna just offshore here. So it's really a special area. Matt Dolan of Sagan Harborside Sotheby's International Realty has spent years talking up these seaside gems. But the custom home for sale at the end of Littles Point Road leaves him speechless. When many people think about real estate, they think about comps, they think about comparable sales. This has no equal. The owners here have created a piece of art. As they would say in the car world, it's a one-off. The car reference is particularly appropriate since these curved lines and sloping ceilings were inspired by a car. Specifically, this car on loan to the Lars Anderson Auto Museum in Brookline as part of their Golden Age exhibit, a 1948 Delahaye 135M. Delahaye only made what we call the rolling chassis. Everything else, the owner had to choose a coach builder. And the coach builder that the first owner chose was a firm called Fagoni at Falashi. And they're known for the sweeping beauty of lines in automobiles. Though many car collectors are famously private, Bruce Mail, who owns both the car and the house it inspired, graciously pulled back the curtains to chat cars, this epic house and his Coney Island roots. I was born on the water. I've always loved the water. I love getting up in the morning and looking out and saying to myself, are you on vacation? With this as their primary residence, you could say Bruce and his wife Leslie have been on vacation for 23 years, but building their dream home wasn't easy. It was a major undertaking. What we wanted was something that was very different and something that would be beautiful. Or the motivation from our Delahaye, our 1948 Delahaye, was quite apparent, and so it carried through to the design of the house. Just as Fagoni and Falashi revolutionized the auto industry with their patented disappearing soft top and bold fender design that implies motion even when standing still. This home was built with custom bent steel and doors so well integrated into the ground floor that they're undetectable from most angles. It's the type of thing where even though it's modern, it's a home and we enjoy all aspects of, of living here. The house is listed for six and a half million, but as a bonus, it comes with a car. This car. Well, we would certainly include that little Fiat 500 for sure. No questions asked about that. For now, this one is staying in the museum. Because of their deep connection with the house, the males have been in no rush to make a sale. It's still on the market, so if you're interested, go for it. But they are looking forward to downsizing eventually. And finally tonight, it's almost time for Holiday Lights, the city of Boston's official tree lighting celebration. Yes, Boston, there will be a tree on the common this year. We'll bring you the countdown and the moment Mayor Marty Wash flips the switch to light Boston's official tree. Anthony Everett and I will host an evening of entertainment, including Grammy winning reggae pop star Shaggy from Hamilton, the musical Winchester's own Nicholas Christopher, performances by the Boston Pops and Boston Gay Men's Chorus, and from Nova Scotia, the Barra McNeils and the McGinnis Sisters with Jenny McKenzie. Plus, just when we need a little ho, 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 a visit from you know who. A special thanks to our friends in Nova Scotia for donating the tree and this annual gesture of friendship. We hope you join us at 7 p.m. Thursday night for Holiday Lights. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.